parents were born in Nanjing, China, in a time of war and revolution. They came to the United States via Taiwan to make a new life. I was born in Poughkeepsie, New York, in a time of peace and prosperity. I ended up working at the White House and becoming an author, a teacher, and a civic preacher. All my life, whether I was playing Thomas Jefferson during the Bicentennial or working for President Clinton 18 years later, I've been aware that all I did was have the dumb luck to be born here. My parents did the heavy lifting. They risked everything. They showed me the meaning of true patriotism. These days, we hear a lot of talk about love of country and who's a real American. But too much of this talk is patriotism on the cheap, saying we're number one without doing much to earn it. For nearly 20 years, 1% of Americans have done the heavy lifting of fighting wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. Of course, true patriotism doesn't require that we all join the military. It does require us to show up more, contribute more, participate more, be more useful to more people, to vote, volunteer, serve, listen, learn, empathize, circulate power rather than hoard it. It's called living like a citizen. And I'm not talking immigration status. Plenty of folks lack the papers, but live like good citizens. And plenty more have the papers, but don't. A century and a half ago, a German immigrant named Karl Schurz put it well. Schurz was one of the young reformers who tried to bring democracy to Germany in 1848, failed, then fled to America. He became an anti-slavery activist in Missouri, a union general in the Civil War, then a US senator in an age of jingoism and nativism, when demagogues were shouting, my country, right or wrong. Schurz said, true patriotism isn't my country, right or wrong. It's my country, when right, to be kept right, when wrong, to be set right. In other words, not blind faith, but constant responsibility to reform, to dissent, to make sure we're living up to our creed. That's what I love about my country. I love getting to take responsibility for it. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Karl Schurz couldn't do that in Germany. My parents couldn't do that in China. You and I, we get to do it every day. Let's celebrate that good fortune by earning it.